involved a lot of heroes, Latrice. It certainly did. And let's go to Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Dan Kennedy. He has switched locations from the scene of that fire to the police department right now. And he has some more details and information about what happened. Dan? That fire started around 3 o'clock this morning. There were four people trapped inside that home, and one of the reasons they were trapped is because there's metal security bars on the windows and on the doors. Uh, a neighbor next door is also a relative. She saw the fire. She saw the smoke. She called 911, and within minutes, police were on the scene. Thankfully, Creighton Street is only a couple minutes' drive from Police Services Center on Amnicola, and that's where we bring in the heroes this morning. Joined now by Officer Creighton, Sergeant Francis. You guys were two of four officers, some of the first on the scenes. Just pick up the story there when you first first got out there? Well, we received, uh, received a call for an unknown trouble um, around that address on Crutchfield Street. And once we got on scene, uh, myself and Officer Brooks joined Officer Horton in attempts to pull the security uh, bars off the window with a, uh, with a satellite dish pole. And we we're just trying to get leverage in there. And once we actually started getting some leverage off of it, uh, that's when Sergeant Franson showed up with the crowbar and uh, we were able to crowbar off the security bars and um, break out the rest of the glass and start pulling individuals out of there. Uh, the baby was the first one to come out and followed by the mother and the grandmother after that. We're talking about a six month old, an 86 year old woman and then two other people inside this house. Emotional not just for, for them, the family members going through this, but I imagine there's a range of emotions for the past few hours for you guys as well. There is. Um, there's a lot of emotions involved, especially when when you're dealing with anybody, but especially when it comes to dealing with children. Um, my wife and I have four kids ourselves, and just whenever you go to, to calls involving children, um, we, we want to get there fast, you know, we want to help as much as we can, and when the officers arrived, mom had the baby, actually had broken out the glass of the window and was holding the baby up to the security bars so that the baby could get fresh air, and we just weren't able to get the bars off. and then. Once I arrived, I carry a crowbar in the trunk of my car. We were able to get those um, security bars off the window, and then we could get the baby out. And then mom came out, and then we got the grandmother out. You say security bars, they're intended to keep people out, but they can also keep you in. They do. They do a good job of keeping people out, but they unfortunately do a very good job of keeping you in in the event of a fire. All right. I want uh, full names for you two guys and also the other two involved as well, please. My name's uh, Officer Trevor James Creighton. I'm uh, Sergeant Daniel Francis. Uh, FTO Caleb Brooks and Officer Harry Horton were also on the scene. And fresh out of the academy, you've been a police officer before, but for civilian for about three months. You're very new to the force here. Uh, I am new to the uh, Chattanooga Police Department, that's correct. Uh, just one of those nights where I uh, you know, was proud to serve and proud to wear the badge, and we were able to get those folks out of there, and uh, none of them had any major injuries. So uh, it was just a really, really proud night for me. And, Serving Chattanooga Police and thank you on behalf of the family. Uh, some true heroes this morning out of Chattanooga and this house fire. There's going to be uh, more stories coming out of this all day long, and we'll post it on WRCBTV.com and have a full report coming up a little later this evening. But four people are okay, recovering in the hospital for some smoke inhalation and some minor cuts this morning, but we're told they're going to be all right. Reporting live from police services and Amicola Highway, Dan Kennedy, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Great hustle, Dan. Absolutely. Of course, covering the house.